All right, I'm back. So, uh, continuing the series on building my uh, computer here, DIY computer build. So, so far I've got the case um, unpackaged. I installed the hard drive, I installed the DVD drive, and I installed the power supply. Although I'm going to go back and look at that power supply and see if I can't get the fan to, to point down because the more I read about it, uh, it's that case is designed for that power supply to point down, uh, that power supply fan. So anyways, uh, next uh, portion of the video here, I'm going to work on the motherboard. So um, again, I've got the ASRock or ASRock Fatality Gaming motherboard. Uh, it's the Z270 K6 and uh, it's supposed to be a fantastic motherboard. So uh, let me get that opened up. I'm sure every time you buy something that has gaming in the title, you overpay for it, but um, I was shopping on with features, not necessarily gaming, and this board had the, uh, the features that I wanted, so that's why I got it. Alright, so we got instruction manuals, installation guides, Got the back bezel. Looks like we've got a SATA cable. Um, not sure what that is. It's kind of daughter card. Uh, looks like another SATA 3 cable. A little tiny screw. Sure, that's needed for something. And we got our board here. Right so, probably supposed to use a Static wrist strap. I'm not going to do that. One, it's uh, humidity is so high here. There's there's no chance of static electricity in Florida. And uh, so we'll just go with that. So it's a pretty cool looking board. Um, I guess it's RGB, it's got some kind of fancy lights on it or something, which I just, I don't really don't care about. Um, I was more after the uh, multiple PCI uh, X16 slots. Uh, it's got dual gigabit LAN, which are Intel chips, that was a must have for me. You never want to get the cheap LAN ports. It's got uh, USB 3, uh, it's got HDMI, I believe, keyboard mouse, uh, 7.2 audio. It's even got onboard graphics, although I won't be using that. And it's got four memory slots. Plus it's got uh, 2468 SATA ports, which I won't need. Um, I'll only be using one of those for my storage hard drive. And then it's got an Ultra M2 slot, which is uh, right here. And that's where my M2 hard drive is going to mount. So that's kind of cool. And then it's got all the other various uh, connectors, fan headers. And it's like a, a, a nice piece. Good looking board. So, it's a little bit better close up of the board. 
apologize for my shaky hand and uh, uh, so far so good it looks looks like a great board and uh, next we need to uh, put the CPU on so let me get ready for that all right so we're ready to uh, install the CPU I just checked to make sure how the CPU is oriented um, basically it's got this little triangle down in the left hand corner that goes as you're looking at the motherboard in the left hand corner so it's kind of foolproof so let me adjust the camera here and see if I can All right, so here's the CPU socket. It's not going to show up real well. And uh, so I got the CPU here. This is just a simple matter of dropping it in. And then closing this lid on top of it there's this little plastic clip here and this little plastic cover um, so you got to take that off and then it's just a simple matter of locking this handle down and the handle goes up underneath just like that so CPU installed Just like that. All right, I'm sure I'm gonna have to finagle this cooler. This thing is massive. Um, that's the next step. So uh, let me let me unpackage that and get my thermal paste unpackaged, and then we'll uh, we'll start back. 